Hello friends, welcome to Azure Databricks video tutorials. This session I am going to give you example on reading and writing Excel files data. So previous sessions we have already covered on reading JSON files and writing JSON files as well as reading Excel, XML files and writing XML files. In this session I am going to give you example for how to read Excel files. So Earlier session we covered on CSV files and other files, but if you have a specific to Excel files instead of uh, data file, so if you have XML file, how to read XML file for the same how to write XML files using Databricks with PySpark. Let's start with this ex one example. So before reading or writing an XML file, first we need to install one library in uh, your cluster. It's that library. So earlier we installed XML, right? For the same, you need to install a library called Spark Excel. Okay, you can search this in Maven repository. There you can find the latest version and you can install that. So for reading XML, Excel files, we need to use a format type called this type. We need to use this com.crealytics.spark.excel. So this format we need to use for reading or writing. So I have a one XML file, sorry, one Excel file. So you can see this, this is the Excel file. I have a two columns here, top and search. So this file I have uploaded already here in my uh, Databricks path. Just this path is available here and you can see this file type here. You can see this Excel, yes, yes. And while reading Excel file, we need to specify header. Header is mandatory for reading Excel files. For example, I'm not specified this. Just run this. See here, one option is showing error called whatever we are using this format type. It is not available in library. So first we need to install because it's a third part library. We need to install in Databricks, then we can use this. Okay, just install, go to clusters. Okay, if you go to clusters, open your cluster, whichever cluster you are going to use, libraries, install new, go to Marvin repository, search package, Spark, Excel. For XML, we searched XML, right? Like here also, sorry, you need to choose uh, Marvin central repository. Here you can find the latest version, whichever is here at 2.12 is the latest version. And uh, you can choose this option. Select, install. So this library I'm going to install for reading and writing Excel files. So it will take a few seconds. You can refresh it again. Now it's installed. Go here. Now rerun this command. Spark dot read our format. This format we need to specify. As I told, header is mandatory for reading Excel files. Just specify header true. Then infer schema. Infer schema for whatever data types columns is available. The data types for infer schema. So, but header already header is there in this Excel file. So that's why we specified header. Now here you can see data frame has been created and you can see the two columns has been created. Top and search. Top is a string, search is a double. Here also in Excel file also I can see this. This is the text, it's a created string and it is a number created as a double format. You can uh, print schema this. If you want to know the exact schema, how it looks like. Normally we will use print schema. Control enter. Here you can see two fields are available, two columns, one string data type and one double data type. If you want to display the data, we can use a display. So here it will show data available in that Excel file. Here two fields, one is a top, another one is search. Total 51 rows are available. Okay. Done. 
how to write this data not only this data if you have any csv file for example i have some csv file emp csv spark dot read dot csv have a csv file in uh, this location and uh, specify header this options so two ways you can you can use directly csv or specify format csv and instead of csv here you can use load there are multiple options and you can use these options also this time reading a csv file here you can see it's a employee table and having all the test data just you can display this data so i'm going to use this data frame data and I want to write into Excel file this data here you can see this this data I want to write into Excel file so same uh, same uh, spark API we will use this while writing same API we will use so just write and select okay I will pass the diff that data frame whichever we have read a CSV file that um, complete data star means all fields write format spark.excel here you can see header and uh, save this location excel files and the mode i'm going to use overwrite okay so just uh, excel files this folder actually it's not available as of now when you look at this see here just i'm checking a file system as of now i'm not created see here it's not exist just run this so it will create a folder there it will create a excel file now you can run this fs here same thing if you want to read it and you can confirm that again with the, because that is excel file right you can read whatever we created is excel file or not we can read using this excel df here you can see it's created excel file and then we read that excel file because this file is created here and again we read that so just display xls data frame here you can see so like this we can go for using this library using this library spark excel we can read and we can write excel files in azure databricks using pyspark so this is the way we can go for reading and writing Excel files in Azure Databricks using PySpark and library. Only you need to rem remember and you need to think about libraries. Excel and XML, we need to install these libraries in library section and those will be available in Maven repository. Okay. So if you are creating any cluster dynamically, just you can go for using pip install so you can go for using pip install package then this library will be installed into your notebook then you can use that so that is another option instead of going here maybe if you are dynamically changing dynamically creating cluster job clusters 
you can use other option using pip install but this this one if you are going to use the same cluster for long you can configure here itself okay so this is the way we can go for reading and writing uh, excel files so thank you for watching my videos please uh, subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel thank you very much